All right, people, welcome to the first ever installment of Ventura Avenue. I know I've been promoting this thing since December. It is now January, and I promised y'all the first episode was going to come in January. But since with the popularity of this cut for b thing has been going on, it's been a slight change. This will be the first ever episode, and I'll get to Ms. Mikey in the second episode, which might be today, which might be tomorrow, I don't know. But yeah. Welcome to the first half of Star Man Adventure Avenue. I am your host, A Fizzle. I'll be bringing you the best in gossip, mainly black gossip. And every now and then I'll bring a little white gossip, like I'm doing this episode talking about Justin Bieber. Hope y'all enjoy. Alright. It's, it's a tired week. This whole cut for Bieber thing, you know, has been blowing up everywhere. You know, this is beyond the crappy gossip shows this is everywhere and you know it's it's mainly about these female fans or well, girls whatever i don't know how old they are but i know i know they're justin bieber fans and, and they decide to cut themselves all because this man is smoking marijuana now my argument about it people now i understand you know a lot of people call him justin bieber when he was this teeny he was this teenager singing Songs like One Love or um, One Time, whatever that song was. And another song, One Less Lonely Girl. But y'all have to realize, Justin Bieber is 18 now. And he'll be 19 in March. This man is getting older. He's he's getting more manlier. He's, about, he's become more of an adult now. So, case in point, this image that y'all continue to see in your eyes, this teen that y'all want to see... That's not gonna be there forever, you know. We don't we don't stay kids. We don't stay teens forever. You know, we all we all get older. We become adults, you know. And you know, same time, you know. Like I said, man's eighteen. So for for the most part, this man can do whatever he wants, man. If he wants to smoke marijuana, so be it. You know, not none of y'all cat what means. None of y'all fans are his mom. There's nothing you can really do about it. You know. If his mom don't mean, you know, his mom like it's okay, then, you know, so be it. Like I said, I'm just pretty much rambling on me, you know. My, just throwing in my insights, uh, you know, as far as this cup of beer thing. You know, I think it's really stupid. And I think it sucks as it is because it became a trending topic on Twitter, you know. You got the fans saying, support the movement. No, we're not supporting any movement. I think it's stupid. I think it's asinine. And, you know, to cut yourself... Just because he's smoking marijuana, I think that's yeah, that's a little bit too much right there. I think people who cut themselves because of that, you know, I think they have severe problems inside of them, and they need to get those fixed immediately. Immediately, because people gonna look at you different, you know. And a lot of people are gonna think this. Oh, so as you since you cut yourself, I mean, since, yeah, since you cut yourself because he's smoking marijuana. So I guess if he starts smoking weed, well, weed marijuana, pretty much same thing. Um, only thing. Uh, so I guess if he starts smoking crack or cocaine, you probably kill yourself, right? I don't think you really be that gullible to really kill yourself. So I don't know why you that gullible to um, cut yourself. Y'all saw this crap out, man. This cut for beaver thing. Y'all let it die out, man. Let the man just live, like Bobby Brown say, you know. Leave him alone. Just let him live. It's his prerogative, you know. He's going to do him. And like I, I said, it's back in December, man. Uh, I don't have anything as Justin Bieber in, in general. A lot of people in my caliber do. I don't. You know, he's younger than me. You know, I don't really see Justin Bieber as a main threat to me. So, you know, I'm just going to let the man. I let the man live, you know. Do do you, Justin. You know, you want to smoke weed, I mean, marijuana, whatever. Do that. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to go on the outrage, you know. That's your life. Only thing I'm going to say is like, just live it. Just be careful what you do. Another thing I did want to jump on while I'm on the on top of Justin Bieber is like, speaking of him, let's get on this paparazzi, man. These paparazzi, they, 
they get on my nerves, man. I guarantee, you know, I get a little bit of pop rocks, and maybe not as much as Bieber or Miley Cyrus and these cats, you know. But, yeah, paparazzi, please, for the love of God, stop following these celebrities. Stop following people everywhere for crying out loud. You know, you're trying to interfere with their private life. It's not that big of a deal. Stop following them around. You're going to make yourselves look stupid, just like that other guy who killed this me, who got killed. That's, a, that's the only thing it's going to lead to. Following these people around. You got to be kidding me. I can't stand paparazzi sometimes, man. Taking pictures and stuff out of nowhere. It's like, when I say no pictures, no pictures. When I say stop following me, stop following me. It's not that big of a deal. Well, yeah, um, that's going to do it for this very first episode of um, Ventura Avenue. And I appreciate sure it will get better, you know. you know, Just quick, quick first impression. First impressions are having lasting, you know, first video may not be as good as what you might plan out to be, you know. This is a work in progress. It will get better. So, what I'm saying, um, leave your comments below. Leave a video response. Tell me what you think of this situation, you know. And I'll get back with y'all later, you know. Hope y'all enjoyed this debut out. I mean, debut episode. I would say debut album. Debut episode of Ventura Avenue. And I'll see y'all for another episode. Y'all already know the next episode is. It's going to be about Miss Mikey of 106 in part in the Ridiculous Heritage. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, one more thing. I'm going to try to keep this as PG-13 as possible. Which means I'm not going to try to do a lot of cussing. If I do a lot of cussing, you will hear this sound. So, yeah. I'm going to try to... Keep it PG-13. You know, it's growing up in manly business, but it's still appropriate for kids to look at. Because, you know, I know kids like to hear gossip as well, you know. I want to make sure it's suitable for them. I don't want, you know, be ranting and all that. And I say the F word about 57 times, and, you know, the parents come in and they watch my videos like, what are you watching? All they cussing in it. Turn it off. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring a little positive vibes so, you know, when when the parents come in and they be like, "Oh, you watching that Ventura Avenue, huh? With um with the eight fizzle guy, they like him, you know. You keep watching that, you know. He doesn't, you know, he bleeps out his cuss words and stuff. All right, but uh, I'm going to end this video. I'll yeah, uh, see y'all later. Have a nice day. Oh, I never did mention this. The day is Friday, January 11, 2013. <laughs> Oh yeah, and f*** the TTC.